Hi, my name is Zin. In this video, I will show you how to create the subscribe form like this and connect it with your MailChimp account so you can do the marketing for your website. So let's do it. So right now, I already log into my website and log into the MailChimp. So first, we need to connect MailChimp with the WordPress. To do that, I go back to the back end of the website. Then I choose Elementor setting. In the setting, you click to iterations rolling down until you see the MailChimp API key uh, from here you need to go back to your MailChimp account go to link to the icon of the account link to the account so right here you need link to the charts and link API key so I already create the API key here but like you can create a new one by create a, a key like this and you can change the name of everything uh, for this one it's just a sample so I uh, can create that one and then using uh, this one comment C I'll copy and then come back here Make to the MailChimp account click the button validate API key is correct everything click save change it's perfect right now so the benefit when you put the API key in the back here uh, because I you can use the, the form for everywhere without typing again the API key uh, so after connect to the MailChimp API key we will go to the visit side go back to the front end and then click edit with Elementor So I want to create the surprise in the bottom here. Uh, to do that, so we using the form drag and drop right here. You can see right here. Okay. Uh, so I will style the form a little bit. So uh, this one I want to put is like. The first name so I don't need to play holder and um, I don't need message duplicate the first name and make his last name and I think I will be move this one in fifty percent the first name 50 percent like that perfect so I will change the button to be submit perfect so that's just a sample so uh, after that you go to the action after submit remove the thing here and to MailChimp because we want to connect it to the MailChimp so from here in the MailChimp uh, because we already um, put the API key in the back end so we will use it like the default 
So if you don't put this in the back end, you have to link the custom and put the new API key here. So every time you use the form, you have to do again. But we did in the back end, so just use the default. And for the audience, I choose drop down and choose the mini fish so the one I create from here. Um, from here, you will see like uh, field mapping. I just have only one. Okay, so I just have only one mapping here for, for the email. So that one like is not correct because I need first name and last name too. Uh, so to do that, I come back to the MailChimp. So I go to the audience. I go to the sire form. And then in the setting tab, we go to audience view and merge tag. So as you can see here, I just have only the email. That's why uh, Elementor just see only few mapping for the email. Uh, so to add more the first name and last name, I just need to add a few text. And then I type in first name. Okay first name so I want to change is here first name too and I think it have to be required and do the same thing with the last name okay so I don't know why it's disappeared but I have to type in again first name last name this one is first name last name so I want both is required save change okay perfect and here uh, so when you finish like adding the fill here you have to refresh again let me update first and then refresh the base okay perfect going down to see the form click the form here yeah. so we in the action submit mail gym and waiting to the mini face again and right now you can see like is pop up first name and last name so the easy one like to drop down to the first name for the first name last name for the last name um, and one thing I want to show you because like uh, in the reverse version of the Elementor you can see like in the view first name the advanced the ID is different from the one we mapping here so in the reverse version so we need to mapping like we have to copy the first name for the ID and then the last name we do the same thing for the last name in the advantage last name we copy that to the ID here uh, that is for the first version you know because like uh, they they tricky everything but for really new version right here so you don't need to do that but in case you can mapping the ID from the MailChimp to the ID from um, the form field here by go to the advanced copy and uh, so I'll have to do again so the first name it has to the first name and the last name to be the last name 
and when you finish everything just click update good and so right now we can try okay going down hello gmail.com submit so the form was sent successful and come back here you can see like audio here you can see the email the first name last name is go to the mail team and that's really easy for you to do the marketing so that's it so i hope you're doing well and the video will help you to connect with mailchimp and your website thank you for watching